The Mandelbro set is the best known fractal and one of the most complex and beautiful mathematical objects known. It was discovered by the French mathematician Benoit Mandelbro in 1980 and named after him by Adrien Duardi and John Hubbard in 1982. I said that the Mandelbrot set is a fractal, but exactly what is a fractal? It's a mathematical object or shape that is self-similar. In other words, parts of it resemble, or in some cases look exactly like, the whole, and has a fractal dimension which is greater than its topological dimension. The latter means that a fractal is effectively infinitely complex. The Mandelbrot set is produced by the incredibly simple iteration formula Zn plus 1 equals Zn squared plus c, where Z and c are complex numbers, and Z0 equals 0. This can be written without complex numbers as Xn plus 1 equals Xn squared minus Yn squared plus a, and yn plus 1 equals 2xn yn plus b, where z is the real number pair xy and c is ab. The Mandelbrot set consists of all the points on the complex plane for which the function z squared plus c doesn't diverge under iteration. A computer is essential for carrying out the necessary calculations and for producing pictures of this remarkable structure. For the purposes of computation, the complex plane is broken down into picture elements or pixels, the coordinates of each of which supply the constant c in z squared plus c. For each pixel or value of c, the function is iterated. If the function either rapidly blows up or diverges, or rapidly collapses or converges, the pixel is left black. If the function is more indecisive about which way it's heading, it's allowed to iterate longer. In some cases, the iterations can go on for a very long time before it becomes clear that the function will ultimately diverge, so that a limit is established, known as the depth beyond which iterations are stopped. If the depth is reached without divergence, the corresponding pixel is left black, as though it were in the set. At locations where divergence is indicated prior to hitting the limit, the pixel is displayed according to a scale that represents how many iterations are needed to show divergence. The whole Mandelbrot set lies within a circle of radius 2.5, centred at the origin of the complex plane. Although finite in area, the set has a boundary that is infinitely long and has a Hausdorff dimension of 2. The overall appearance of the Mandelbrot set is that of a series of disks. These disks have irregular borders and decrease in size heading out along the negative real axis. Moreover, the ratio of the diameter of one disk to the next approaches a constant. More complex shapes branch out from the disks. One region of the Mandelbrot set containing spiral shapes is known as Seahorse Valley because it resembles a seahorse's tail. A computer can be used like a microscope to zoom in on different parts of the set. This reveals that although the shape is infinitely complex, it also displays self-similarity, with regions that look like the outline of the entire set. The Mandelbrot set also exhibits symmetry on different levels. It's identically symmetrical about the real axis and almost symmetrical at smaller scales. This kind of near but not quite symmetry is one of the most unexpected properties to find in an object generated from such a simple formula and process. The Mandelbrot set was created by Mandelbrot as an index to the Julia sets, about which we'll have more to say in a future video. Each point in the complex plane corresponds to a different Julia set, 
and those points within the Mandelbrot set correspond precisely to the connected Julia sets. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll check out some of the other videos on this channel and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again soon to discover more maths.